Hey guys, how's it going? So I've got a real treat for you today. I want to talk to you about lizards. And I know I've already done a video on lizards before, <coughs> but this time I found a lizard. So with that being said, I do want you to pardon how I look and how I'm dressed right now. We have been out in my yard excavating it we've been tearing it up a little bit and trying to flatten it out when we were doing that we uncovered this little guy he's cute as a button and he's small we also feel like this is the same one that likes to hang out on our front porch in the summertime so Here's one of my little guys. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Hold on. <laughs> it's hard to get him. And it's hard to get him because he's warmed up. I wanted to talk to you about that. Now, I do not recommend you going in the woods and picking up lizards and other reptiles, but my husband and I, we knew what we were doing. We know he's not venomous or poisonous. So we decided we could go in and get him. All right, so this little guy, ooh, look at him, look at him, look at him. He's so cute. He's got a blue tail. He's got some scaly skin. His eyes are on the side. So look, lizards, lizards, their features are of a tremendous variety. They come in all colors, appearances, sizes. Lizard skin are scaly. They're scaly skin reptiles. And they're usually distinguished from snakes by the possession of legs. They're movable eyelids. <coughs> and they're external ear openings. So if you look to the side, you can see their ears and they're not ears like ours they're little holes they're external ear openings isn't they calm now one difference between a reptile and amphibian is their relationship with water amphibians like the tadpole that i did a video on now they need water in their habitat because they spend at least part of their life cycle in water. In addition to that, amphibians are going to lay their eggs in water. Reptiles, on the other hand, do not have to spend part of their life in water. Although they often live near water and they spend time in water, they do not have to live part of their life cycle in water like the tadpole does or other amphibians. These guys also lay their eggs on land. If you think about turtles and snakes, they lay, they lay their eggs on land. Now reptiles are gonna have scaly skin that allows them to survive in a really hot, dry climate and in cold weather. Reptile eggs, they're gonna be coated with a leathery or brittle coating and the animals that hatch from them are miniature versions of the full-sized animals. So they're the same thing, they're just much smaller. Now, reptiles are gonna be vertebrates, meaning they do have backbones. They are also ectothermic, or as you know, cold-blooded, which means their body temperature is determined by their environment rather than regulated by their bodies such as humans do in other mammals. 
So, when the air outside is cold, lizards are cold too. And it's December, so it's cold outside. The ground's cold. The sun is seeing uh, shorter days. He's cute. Cute as button. Now, with that being said, this is a really interesting fact. When temperature drops below a critical limit, reptiles like this guy can lose their ability to move, which can cause them to fall out of trees when they're sleeping. Did you know that? Stunned lizards on the ground are likely an easy prey for who? Predators. Remember, eyes in front, ready to hunt. Eyes on the side, go run and hide. These guys have eyes on the side. So they need to go hide. Now lizards will move back and forth between the sun and the shade to keep their bodies around a certain temperature. For most lizards, the temperature is best for digestion, which is when they eat, so they can process their food. Or if they get too cold, they cannot digest their food as well. They also can't get as much energy and nutrition out of their meals. Now, when lizards are cold, they don't need to eat a whole lot just to stay alive. So they don't need to be active. Instead, they're gonna try to find a warm place to hide. They might burrow under leaves or dig a hole in the soil, or find a hole in a tree trunk. We found this guy in soil, because that's what we were digging up. Remember, soil is alive. Dirt is dead. Okay, dirt, dirt is what is under your feet. Soil is alive and has nutrients in it. The earthworms really help with that. Soil. Now, in general, Lizards will sit very still in these safe places and wait for warmer weather. When they come out and sit in the sun to warm themselves up. Once they're warm, they'll start running after food and chasing other lizards again. So that's why this guy's not moving that much. Why do you think he's not moving that much? It's cold. It's cold. His body temperature, since he is cold-blooded or ectothermic, his body temperature is going to be the same as the temperature outside. Well, last night I think it got to maybe 32 degrees. So, he got to be about 32 degrees. So when they get in that state, they're going to be really, really still so they don't exert much energy. So I just want to show you this little guy. We are going to go put him back where we found him and let nature do its thing. You don't disturb nature unless you absolutely have to. But this is a reptile. He's cold blooded. He's got scaly skin. Just His wanted, eyes are on the side. I just wanted to do a video. He's got a tail. He lays eggs on land. They're rubbery. It's a, not mm -hmm. a he, it's a she. Alright, so I'm going to put him back in here. No, I mean, he's still. Alright, we're coming back around with more work to do. So, alright guys. Y'all take care now. I just want to do a video.